I speak from horrible experience. This always happens to me, no matter how much he likes me. If I get impatient and reach out, like he might say, yes, he will get lazy very soon and dump me. Mm. And so That's, she says, so could please elaborate on how that could work. Thank you. Um, and, and so what she's talking about is showing interest, right? So uh, showing interest in a guy and how that can work without turning him off and pushing him away. And, and there's, there's a lot that can be said about that. I've talked about this and there's a specific video that I, I don't remember the name of it at the moment, but it, it was about uh, attainability. And basically a lot of women have become, it's one of those things where you don't want to go to extremes, right? You don't want to be on the extreme side of like, so, so, uh, available and open right. and you're always there and you're waiting for his call and you're like, you know, on top of right. it, but you right. also don't want to be so unavailable that he's like, you know, she's not really interested in me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I, one of the things I think can be good is, you know, making yourself available, but maybe, you know, making him like you had said before, Matt, when you make the man invest a little bit, um, that gets, that kind of gets him investing in her and really seeing the value in her, you know? And so in a particular situation, if, if he's showing interest in you, you can show interest back to him. Um, but maybe what you do is you do it in a way where you're having him invest a little bit, like, right. If he's going to meet you somewhere for a date, maybe, you meet a little bit closer to where you live. Um, or, or maybe if, you know, if he's going to meet you on a particular day, um, you know, do maybe you, you make yourself available on a day that's convenient for you. Right. It's not necessarily that you're making it hard on him. You know, you're not saying, well, you know, the only time I'm available is, you know, it, you know, on, on Saturday at 8 AM, you know, or, or, you know, Wednesday at noon when you're at work, um, you know, you don't want to make it too difficult but what you can do is you can say, hey, you know what, I can, I can do it at these times. I can meet you at these times where you're not necessarily throwing your, your, your schedule out wide open saying, hey, I'll, I'll meet you whenever you want. Um, because then you, you're, you're just showing, hey, you have a life and, uh, and you have value. Uh, you're demonstrating it. You're displaying it. You obviously have value, but it's just that you're, you're displaying it in, in subtle ways and also giving him an opportunity to be with you. Mm -hmm. Yep, Absolutely. Absolutely. You're not, you're not cutting them off. You're not, um, uh, you know, making it absolutely difficult for him to, to attain you or get with you or meet with, with you or whatever. And you're also not, um, you know, just doing everything for him. There's this one thing where uh, I talk about where you, it, like you can learn a lot about how a man feels about you if you do nothing. Right. And you'll learn how interested he is in you and what's going on. Cause what, what we get a lot of times with women in our community is they'll like start reaching out all the time and they're just constantly trying to stay in contact. And then a guy doesn't message them for, you know, two hours and they start losing their minds and stuff. Right. I, we had a, we had a woman on one of our live streams who was talking about this guy who is like hot and cold all the time. Right. right and she, right. and she was like, she's like, he's hot and cold every day. And I'm like, I'm like, what is that? what does that mean? You know, like, what do you mean right. by that? And she was right. like, she's like, well, he, he disappears. And then I, he won't talk to me again until the next day. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, that's like normal human communication. Like people have to eat and go to bed and they have other things going on in their lives, you know? And, and, it, and it's one of those things. Sometimes people, you know, we all get kind of wrapped up and caught up in things because our emotions get involved. And next thing you know, we're like attached to somebody. And so we're like grasping on, we're like, we want more, we want more. Cause we're getting those like dopamine hits from them contacting us. And they're like, ah, you know, I'm so excited <laughs> about it. And then the person doesn't contact us and it's like, Oh, what are we going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> right. And then you start losing your mind. So you're like texting them and stuff. And right. then he's like, Whoa, what's going on here? You know? And so you, it's good to just back off and give it, you know, for most of the women that are in those kinds of situations, it's, it, they're usually overdoing it, like way yeah. overdoing it. And so you just got to like relax and calm down and just chill out for a little bit and start focusing on other things, have other things going on in your life. Right. That, that, or, that is key. That is key, Matt. It's like, it's like, if you have other things going on in your life, then you aren't going to be solely focused on this one individual, right? It's like, and, and, and I'll, I'll even add something to that is further on 
even even when you get into a long time long term relationship, you know, you should still be developing friendships with other people. You know, like I have siblings that are married, and just because they're married doesn't mean that they don't have friends now. You know, it's like they still need to have friends and lives because if 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 you end up that other person in that relationship is the only person in your life, you're gonna like smother them. And mm -hmm. that's not really fun to be in a relationship like that. Right. Yeah. And and the only time where you can really kind of do that, not worry about it, is if the person's totally on with you, right? There's this thing yeah. that I I call mirroring, where if the guy is all it all in on you, you can be all in on him as well. And it's yes. it doesn't hurt, right? But right. if if he's pulling back and you're still you know, all in on right. him. You, you, what's going to end up happening is you're going to start chasing him. You're going to start smothering him. He's going to start feeling like he needs to back away and right. you're just going to put yourself into a situation that you don't really want to be in.